In this code sample, we can see mixings. We mix uh, one set of stylings into others. Here in this code sample, we specify nice border yellow green uh, CSS class with uh, these uh, specific uh, styling, and then we mix it into other um, CSS classes. We also mix it into specific styling for a specific element, the element with the ID specific stuff. So if we check the HTML file, we can find in the beginning a link for the less file, the file in which we have the CSS code we wrote. Then we can also find a script element that refers to the less JavaScript library. Um, if you want, you can include another uh, a sn a snippet of uh, JavaScript in which you uh, create a global object uh, assigned, its reference is assigned to less. Less is actually a new property in the window global object. And that object will uh, configure the way uh, the less JavaScript library will be um, used. Uh, in this code sample we could uh, take it away, it doesn't make any difference. As you can see, I keep it just to uh, to let you know about this possibility. There are of, co there are of course many more properties uh, you can specify. There are lots of uh, configuration you can do to the uh, the, the less JavaScript library when you are using it. Now if you can look at the bottom you can find um, h1 element with uh, the CSS class attribute assigned with uh, some other stuff and here we have a CSS uh, class attribute assigned with uh, some very odd stuff and then we have a div element with the ID specific stuff. Now if you take a look at the mixings demo dot less file uh, you can see that um, nice border yellow green uh, is actually a collection of uh, two stylings a border which should be solid and red and a background which should be green yellow now you, as you can see these um, uh, stylings apply uh, for this CSS class, this CSS class, and uh, this specific ID, so we can see it uh, all over. Uh, we could, of course, take it away from some very odd stuff, and then the some very odd stuff would look different. Um, you can, of course, um, choose to apply uh, styling that overrides the CSS styling you chose to mix into a specific uh, styling you create for a specific ID or a new CSS class. Meaning that we could, for example, add a background uh, with the color yellow and that would override the stylings we get from nice border yellow green. However, make sure you place it after, not before. If I place it before, then a nice border yellow green background green yellow would apply. So just pay attention where you place your mixing of the other uh, styling.